Okay, uh, we finally built a synchronous rotary spark app. We adjusted the height and the top load. We adjusted the tuning in the primary, and we actually had to reduce to eight moths instead of, or four moths instead of six because we kept blowing two out, and we're sick of fixing them because it's cold. So, okay, here it goes. We'll watch it go. Go. Are you going? Whoa! That's why I'm just going to turn the wrong switch first. You can stop now. Alrighty. Here we go, Captain. Ooh! Hold on. You brought me back to life. Why is it so dark out? Uh oh. Because it's like 9 o'clock. The pole light's out. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll come back on. It takes a few minutes. Yeah, it might not. Better come back on. What are you doing? I'm recording. causing it to we'll wait till it dies down a second. It's called the banjo effect. The wind's uh, yeah. very blue. Hey, it's coming. It's, it's the camera. Solid. Yeah, it's <laughs> <gone>. <laughs> Is it supposed to do effect. that? Did it? Yeah, yeah. That's the okay. that's the banjo effect. that's caused by wind. Oh. If we're indoors, <coughs> well, see what happens is it blows the arc. But the that was pretty bad. All right, I think that's enough I for think tonight. Action. Okay. Um. A lot has happened. Uh, I don't know if we have a film yet uh, with the synchronous rotary spark app, but we now have one. It works quite well. We've had to back off to four moths though because we kept burning them out and burning them out. So we're back to four. It's 8,000 volts. Um, as you can see, I have added a second uh, toroid top load. It is very nice. It gives us nice power and it'll strike all the way out to that rod 47 inches away. Also, for your viewing pleasure, I have added a fluorescent tube which is stuck into the ground and it lights up when I turn the coil on to demonstrate, you know, the RF magnetic field fluctuating in the air and causing it to light up and stuff. Uh, it is now just a little after 10 o'clock, so we're going to shoot some arcs and, uh, you know, see what happens. Okay, okay, here we go. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Let me turn off the thing real quick, although darkness. It's on? Yep. Okay. That's all for tonight. Okay, so we've added an Ed Wingate style breakout point, which I think helps a little, but I'm really not sure at all. And what we're going to be doing is I have a wad of foil on a grounded, insulated, yeah, uh, grounded insulated rod. And we're going to draw some sparks because that's cool and we're wicked cool like that. So, and, uh, and Jason finished making my spark gap nice. And we have a variac now, which is really sweet because we can dial up the voltage slow and it doesn't hurt a capacitor. So, or in months. And I have, we haven't reported any mock deaths since we got the capacitor, except for the Variac, rather, since I wasn't using it. Oh, and we also got power factor correction capacitors, too. Okay. Yeah.
Jason, get this fixed.